Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a couple different performance hacks that you can do to your Mark 7 GTI via the VCDS cable and VCDS software. So what you're going to need for this, you're going to need a VCDS cable and software from Rostec. The VCDS cable is pretty pricey, it's about $200, but for me it's worth it because for anyone who wants to modify their Mark 7 GTI and the characteristics of it for what they want to use it for, it is a pretty good investment. So first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to adjust the different electronic stability control settings. So to do this, you're going to want to go to select. It's going to go through all the different things. It's going to try to contact the car, get all the different sensors and stuff. And then you're going to want to go to ABS brakes. You want to go to coding, long coding helper. Hit yes to all these. And then on the 2015 and 2016s, there are only 29 bytes. The bytes are these little boxes down here. There are only 29 of these little boxes. On the 2017s, there are 30. So you can see it comes up with byte 30. And so but the one you're going to be looking for is byte 29, which is all the way over here. So in the stock form, the, uh, the byte is going to be either 89 or 09, depending on the year of the car, which is going to be you're going to press it once, it's going to be ASR deactivated, and if you hold it, it'll go from ASR deactivated to ESC Sport. Now, to change this, you're going to want to go to either you can change it to either 05 or 06. 05, when you turn the car on, it'll be ESC on. Press it once, ASR off, and you hold it, it'll be ESC off. 06 will be ESC on when the car is on. Press it once, ESC sport, and then hold it, it'll be ESC off. So I'm going to change it to 06. Press enter. Exit out of this screen. And then as you can see, the second to last pair of numbers will be changed from 89 to 06. Hit do it and accepted. So now, that scared me at first, all these uh, different modifications they're going to be doing with the ABS system is going to pop up with these three lights. Now, to get rid of those lights, the only thing that you need to do is power cycle the car, which I'll do later. But for now, as you can see, press it once. Actually, I do need to power cycle the car. So as you power cycle the car, all those lights come off and then you press it once, it'll be ESC Sport, and then you hold it, you go from ESC Sport to ESC Off. Now electronic stability control is now fully disengaged. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be the expanded electronic differential lock. So after this, or first we're actually going to enter the security access code which is going to be 20103. So you're going to want to enter 20103. Hit do it. And this sometimes happens when you power cycle the car and it kind of interrupts the connection. What you want to do is you're going to want to go back, let it go through its thing, go back to ABS brakes, go back to security access, and enter the security access code again. Hit do it. Security access accepted. Then you want to go to adaptation. Go down the channels. There's going to be a channel called starting vibration reduction. And basically what I was reading is that what this does is as you're trying to launch the car, whether it be a manual or a DSG, but it mostly does this in a manual. So as you try to launch the car, it will apply the brakes for, I don't know what reason, for some kind of safety concern in Volkswagen decided that was a good idea. But the stored value will be normal. You're going to want to change that to deactivated. Hit do it. And then you're going to go back and go back to adaptation. And the, there's going to be one right below that one. It's starting vibration reduction torque limitation. And you're also going to want to deactivate that one as well. Then you're going to want to go back, go back to adaptation. And then this one is going to be for the 
electronic differential lock. Now the name of this is different on every single year, but the number that you're going to want to look for is the same. And on the side it's going to say MAS00194. So you're going to want to click on that, and it's going to come up, and you're going to want to change it from standard to strong. And basically what this is going to do is change the characteristics of the limited slip to where it's going to lock harder and sooner to give you more traction. And then we're done with the ABS system. So you want to go back. And then you're going to want to go to engine. And this next one, I'm going to show you how to adjust the idle RPM. So you're going to want to go to adaptation, go to the channels. The second channel down will be idle RPM correction. The stock form is going to be zero slash min, which is zero RPMs per minute over this stock calibration. So the max that VCDS allows you to change this, it's 50. So you're going to enter 50, click do it and you can actually hear a little bit that the RPMs did go up. So then that's done. This allows for better oil pressure flow, which is going to lead for faster warm up times and also faster cool down times after you're done doing different quarter mile passes and autocross events. So after that, you're gonna go back and that's pretty much it. You wanna get rid of those lights, just power cycle the car. After that, all those lights go away. And those are a few different performance hacks you can do to a Mark 7 GTI, Golf R, and Golf. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.